Around 30% of the public think that when you put your money into the bank, it just stays there and it's safe. And you can understand why, because you know every, every child has a piggy bank where you keep putting money in, and then when it's a rainy day, you smash it and you take that money out and you spend it. The other 60% of people assume that when you put your money in, that money's then being moved across to somebody who wants to borrow it. So you have a pensioner who keeps saving money her whole entire life, and then her life savings have been lent to some you know, young people who want to buy a house. But actually, banks don't work like that. Uh, about 97 to 98% of money um, that's, that's created is, is created um, as bank, bank debt money, you could call it, um, when banks issue money into circulation as, as loans, essentially. Um, this is a very poorly understood fact. It's not a conspiracy theory, it's not a, um, it's not a crackpot theory, it's the way the Bank of England describes the process. When banks make loans, they create new money. It really gets on my nerves when I hear people talking about, um, yeah, we need more regulations. It's all just one big smokescreen and working on all the symptoms of a greater disease, which is really, you need to look at the, the money system, the way money is created. And uh, if we don't want any debt, then we're essentially saying we don't want any money and we want a moneyless economy with the exception of the 3% that's created debt free. You know, it's a paradox under the current system. If you if we, as the public, go into further debt, then that's going to put more money into the economy and we're going to have a boom. When you have a boom, it's easier to borrow, so people get into even more debt. And eventually, you know, this, this cycle continues, it gets easier and easier to get into debt until some people get over in debt and then, you know, they default. They can't repay their mortgage. That's what happened in, you know, it happened first in subprime America. Um, and then, you know, that just brings through a wave of defaults which will ripple across the entire economy. The banks go insolvent, then we're into a financial crisis, um, and then the banks stop lending. People lose their jobs, and then they become even more dependent on debt just to survive, basically. You know, we have a, a system where we have to borrow in order to have an economy. We have to be in debt to the banks. And that, that guarantees, you know, a massive profit.